Professor Forp here, and we are going to be talking about measurements. Speaking of measurements, why can't a nose be 12 inches long? Because then it would be a foot. Anyway, you will be happy to know that we will be discussing something called the perimeter. As I said before, I never repeat myself, so pay attention. And what exactly is perimeter, you may eagerly be asking. Well, it's all Greek to me, and it really is, because the word perimeter comes from the Greek words peri, which means around, and metron, which means measure. And that is exactly what you do when figuring out the perimeter of a shape. You measure the distance around it. You decide the length of each side to find the perimeter. So, for this square, you would add the sides 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, which equals 12 centimeters. Or, since all sides of a square are equal, you could just multiply 4 times 3, which equals 12 centimeters. For this rectangle, add 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 6, which equals 16 centimeters. And then there is the ever popular triangle. Add 3 plus 4 plus 5, which equals 12 centimeters. Very good! Now, what about an odd shape like this? Just add up the sides. 15 plus 6 plus 3 plus 5 plus 6 plus 5 plus 6 plus 6 equals 52 meters. Knowing how to figure perimeter is handy, especially if you are building a fence. Of course, you will need a ruler. Do you know where you can get one that is 3 feet long? At a yard sale. There you have it, perimeter, the distance around a shape. Until next time. Be sure to learn new information daily.